All right, guys. Um, so I just want to say, first of all, thank you to Josh B. Uh, he, uh, I did an intro for him recently, and he gave me some compensation for it, and he made a donation. And with that donation, I spent my money wisely and invested in something that's going to aid me uh, in doing this YouTube environment, graphic design, and everything in between. <clears throat> so. I, I looked online and what some of the things that I'd wanted there to progress um, some of my physical capital. And one of the things was was a drawing tablet. Uh, I, I, I love art as it is. I do a lot of artwork on pens, with pencil and paper and pen. Um, but I really wanted to get into the computer version of it. So I went online and I looked at Wacom and looked at all the different tablets they had and read some of the reviews that some of the people that have bought them had and then I looked at some of the different off-brand tablets that you might not think were the most desirable right off the bat but what I found is I found a lot of the reviewers were talking about this mono price mono price um, tablets and how they had performed equally as well and to be honest with you this tablet was only 34 bucks and the tablets that Wacom uh, advertises are almost, uh, they're three times the price, but they do almost exactly the same thing. Um, there is a little bit of functionality, but I think for people that are really starting out, this is probably a great deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up, um, plug it in, and see how it works. Uh, tablet here. And we'll just, yes, I use a wine tool for everything. It is the most useful thing to have around. Uh, okay, so I'll open this up, pop open. We've got a protector. We need that, that is now trash. And we've got this nice industrial grade protectant for the box so it doesn't get scratched up in delivery. Um, actually, hold on, we've got something ties down here out the whole thing. Let's set the tablet aside. Tablet and the cord that connects to inside the bottom of the box. We have our installation CD, our battery for the pen, which was which I found out was one of the downsides to this product was the monoprice product was that actually the stylus or the pen for it had a uh, you had to keep replacing the batteries. But they said for the price difference that you paying eighty dollars less was actually kind of worth just getting a couple extra batteries. Here's the stand for your ta or your pen. I think it has some functionality. We'll find out about that later, but it sits in there and rests. All right, nothing else in the box. No advertising, which I can say thank you to Mono Price. Is everything you buy in the consumer world always has more product placement. I don't need it. I don't watch it. I get specifically what I want. If you're a guy, you're probably like me. Go Christmas shopping at the last minute. Um, and here's the tablet. Um, got a bunch of functions. It looks like. Uh, I think. I think that was one of the other things it said was that um, the Wacom tablets they were pressure sensitive to your fingertips. So, for instance, I would be able to press these with my fingers. Um, in this case, you have to use the stylus to touch them. Although it looks like over here, we do have some finger controls, and uh, unfortunately, this is a right-handed tablet. Um, I, I'm a lefty. Um, they didn't, you know, it was more for it. And I'm not going to spend the money for it. I'll just adjust. That's part of life. So let's free this from its imprisonment. Plug it in. trash. All right. Um, the USB cable and the installation CD and the battery. We need to do all that. Uh, let's see. How do we open up this pen? It looks like, oh, it just twists. And there's the battery compartment right there. Let's pop that in.
Set the CD aside. Oh, and uh, make sure that when you open up the CD, there is a little baggie with some more stylus tips because you'll wear these nubs off pretty quickly. Uh, I remember that from my last tablet that they go, they don't last long. Uh, and okay, so like I was saying, get the uh, battery, it's got a little cellophane. And take the pressure sensitive part, push it down, push your battery in, and I guess it just squeezes. Oh man, that just feels like it's going to break. So be really careful when you're using this. Oh yeah. And it does, you got to twist it a little bit, if it slides right back in. Leave the pen tip untouched when not in use. That's what, this is a little warning tag right here. I'll take it off. Uh, yes. So leave it in your little cartridge or the holder when you're not using it. Don't just lay it down. Assume that it has been field tested and easily breaks when you don't put it there. Alright, so that's there. USB. Um, quick start guide tells us to. install the driver so insert the CD connect the tablet and I think that's it yes and it should be ready to go so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna pop it in and I'll get back to you guys in just a little bit and I'm in my computer this is uh, my computer folder so you go here to your computer, open it up, find your driver, do your CD drive, double click on it, I assume it has a quick start, yep, it runs setup.exe. Um, the first is driver setup, tablet software setup, tablet flash demo, electronic. so the bottom two we're not really going to need, we're going to need to first click the driver setup, it's the first tab right here. It will load. Um, and just uh, just click OK. I'm pretty sure that it recognizes whatever Win system you have and puts the files in there for you. And it's pretty quick, yeah. It's going fast. It takes maybe a minute. I have a pretty good computer. It's decent. It's by no means a super computer. And there go the drivers. And the USB recognition. Okay. So, the drivers installed successfully, you need to reboot. So, the drive installed drivers will take effect. Yes, reboot system. Start it over. And you know what? While it's in the midst of doing that, yeah, just force restart. Uh, Oh crap, I did want to save that. Alright, so we got the CD in and we installed the drivers and I installed the software. And you can see that the mouse is responsive to the pen movement. You can tell that it's selecting things and you push it down and pull it. Well, that is the mono price tablet. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to see some work from me come from it. Uh, I'm really excited. Um, it seems a little... It seems like it's got some issues, but, you know, it does seem like it's really well put together. Everything's pretty straightforward. Um, the hot links work right off the bat. I mean, the word processor, I just clicked it and it went right to it. <coughs> so that's awesome. And I, man, I'm just I'm really excited. I can't wait to get to into some of these projects and use this. Uh, it, it just, it really helps to have a pen.
instead of a mouse. <clears throat> so, this is No One Left Behind, signing out.